Hello, I'm Lena Taro. I'll be showing you how to do a one sample t-test on the TI-89 calculator. We'll be using the example found in Chapter 9, Section 3 of the Practice of Statistics. For this example, the dissolved oxygen content at 15 randomly selected locations on a stream was measured, and I've actually entered the raw data in my calculator in List 1. To do our one sample t-test, we'll hit 2nd, F6, choose two sample t-test and our data input method can be either data or statistics if you only have the summary statistics. Since we have the data, I'm going to choose data. Now you can see that we have several things that we need to enter in our template. We need to enter a mu naught value for comparison where the list or where the data is stored our frequency will remain 1. We need to choose the alternative hypothesis and we need to decide how to display our results. So our mu naught value is 5. Our list is list 1. I'm going to hit alpha lock, so second alpha, so I can type in the letters for the word list a little more easily. Our frequency is 1 since we entered each of the values exactly once. Our alternative hypothesis is going to be mu less than mu naught because if the dissolved oxygen content is statistically significantly less than 5, if we suspect that the population mean is less than 5, then we're going to reject the null hypothesis and conclude that uh, the stream is in trouble for supporting life. And we could either draw the results or choose to calculate. I'm going to choose to calculate and we can see the results here. We can see that our test statistic value is negative 0.94 and that our p-value is 0.1809. Our degrees of freedom is 14 and notice we're also given our sample mean, sample standard deviation, and our sample size. So with a p-value of 0.18 we'd fail to reject the null hypothesis. So although some of the dissolved oxygen content values were less than 5, we do not suspect that the mean is significantly less than 5. Um, we could have, instead of displaying the results this way, we could have chosen to draw the results. Let's see what that looks like really quickly. I'll choose second F6 t-test data once again. I do not need to change anything here, but I'm going to come down to Calculate and change this to Draw. And it's going to draw our T distribution, and it's going to shade the area to the left. The area that is shaded here corresponds to the p-value of the test. We can see that the test statistic value is negative 0.94256 and our p-value is 0.180945.